मैं राज्य कृष्णा वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडेज टॉपिक इज द इम्यून सिस्टम यू मे नॉट नो ए बट वी आर सराउंडेड बाई मिलियंस एंड मिलियंस ऑफ बैक्टीरिया एंड वायरस दे आर एवरी वे बट वी डोंट फॉल इन एवरी अदर डे बिकॉज ऑफ आर इम्यून सिस्टम इट्स अ कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड फैसिनेटिंग सिस्टम ऑफ आर बॉडी दैट हेल्प्स अस एंड प्रिवेंट्स आर बॉडी फ्रॉम गेटिंग इल In this video, we are going to learn how the immune cells join forces and then prevent us to getting exposed to various kinds of diseases. So, imagine it to be a lovely day. Well, suddenly a wild rusty nail appears from nowhere, and then you prick yourself accidentally, and then the nearby bacteria seize in the opportunity and enters your wound. Once they are inside they start using up the body's resources and then double the numbers every 20 minutes. First of all they don't do anything but your immune system still has to stop this because they don't do much for it. but they after they get to a certain bacteria population they change the behavior and then start harming the body. First of all your guard cells known as macrophages intervene. They are huge cells that guard every body region of your body. Most of the time they can alone suffocate the attack because they are really huge and they can alone devour up to 100 intruder intruders each. This is a process called phagocytosis. The macrophages once the intruder is inside, the macrophages trap it inside in a um, kind of it's a kind of a uh, membrane and then they break it down with the help of enzymes but if it getting critical the macrophages cause inflammation ordering the blood to release water into the battlefield to make fighting easier on top of that they cause i mean release messenger proteins that eradicate location and urgency the neutrophils then leave their patrol routes in the blood and then move to the battlefield they release toxins that trap and kill the enemy but on top of that they fight so fiercely that they kill healthy cells in the process this should be enough to stop the invasion but if it isn't enough the brain of the immune system kicks in the dendritic cell gets active and then takes a few samples from the bacteria and then they rip them into pieces and present them on their outer layer it then makes a crucial decision should they call for anti bacteria forces or an army of virus killers in this case an army of an army of um, bacteria killers are more necessary it then travels to the closest lymph node in about a day here many and many millions of millions of helper and killer t cells are waiting to be activated when they are born they go through a difficult training process through which only a quarter survives because this is a very um, hard and uh, very hard and a very suffocating training practice and then only a quarter survives and the surviving cells are equipped with a specific setup the setup that is just right and then when a dendritic cell finally meets one the chain reaction takes place the helper t cell starts multiplying rapidly and some become memory t cells that stay in the lymph node and will make you practically immune against this enemy and then some travel to the field of battle to help out while a third group goes to another lymph node and then activates a very powerful weapons factor called the b cells when they are born they have a specific setup like the t cells when a b cell and a t cell with the same setup meet hell breaks loose and then the b cell starts multiplying rapidly and then starts producing tiny weapons called antibodies antibodies are small tiny y shaped proteins that um bind that are trained to bind to the bacteria surface meanwhile the field of battle is getting critical many cells have already died but the cells that are really weak the helper t cells tell the cells that are really weak to become more aggressive and to stay alive longer but without help they cannot overwhelm the bacteria and then the second line of defense arrives millions of antibodies flood the battlefield disabling many of the bacteria and then rendering them helpless or even killing them in the process their back is built to connect to the killer cells Macrophages are especially good at gnawing up the bacteria that the antibodies have got on to. Now the balance shifts. 
in a team effort the infection is wiped out now most of the cells are pretty useless and then without constant signals they commit suicide but some stay behind like the memory t cells and the memory b cells if this enemy is ever encountered in future they'd probably kill it before you even notice it so this was the explanation of the part of the immune system this was the whole process how the immune cells join forces and then help each other and also kill the ba bacteria and prevent you from getting ill that's it for today until next time i'll see you in the next video and stay tuned for more videos by subscribing my